I, I don't blame you if you can't understand what the fuck I said there. It wasn't really what I said wasn't really that relevant. I'm sure you could get what I'm meaning just from this voice I was using. No, I, I, do, I don't want that. Yeah, you know, I, I love the work they do. Just that one thing just stuck in my crawl wrong and just bugs me. You know, it's, you know, it just an itch I can't scratch and the fact that the. It's designed to double down on how being being fucking itchy didn't help. Well, they did put out a video of an apology of a sort. The fact that they said that they weren't lying when they were lying meant that they were lying about not lying, and that just made it worse. I'm just really retreading old ground. I don't really need to repeat myself any further. I'm just worried that people aren't going to get what I'm saying and go to the worst possible conclusion. That, you know, I'm, I am want to start some YouTube war or... Some, some stupid shit, you know, st stupid YouTuber slap fight. That's not what I want. I'm just simply saying, you know, uh, like, I haven't seen their content in ages because, you know, it just, they did something silly before and I just letting go issues. Uh, that's all it is. Sorry, I heard something in the background, not sure what it was. But yeah, it's just... Oh, I'm just worried people aren't going to get what I'm saying. It's just all the interruptions and I'm just really hyper... Like, really seriously concerned that people aren't going to get what I'm trying to say. I'm probably being perfectly coherent and perfectly clear, but I'll reiterate it once more just to make sure. I have no issue with them. I have no complaints against them. I... I think... Well, I do have complaints, but... I think they're fine guys. I think they do great work. They did a silly... They made a silly decision there. They, I think they could have handled it in so many better ways. I could understand them not wanting to junk their whole team and start again with, like, three... And trying to continue with, like, three... You know, the, like, the three runs to the litter. I could understand... Or however many they had. I can understand that. Um, they were apparently trying to tell a story with their Nuzlocks or something. I can understand them not wanting to... Uh, sorry, I keep hearing a banging of some sort and it's... distracting me. Um, I... As someone else was saying, Nuzlocks probably not the best place to do that. Um... Damn, there it goes again. I'm really obsessive and if so the OCD is just making everything piss me off, and it's what distracts me. So yeah, they could have, yeah, you know, we try to continue with the others, and I can understand them not wanting to do that. Their parents are trying to tell a story, and that kind of goes went against what they're saying. But Nuzlocke's not the best place to do that. The others, um, though, it certainly does add to the tension of it. But knowing that they, if the tension gets too much, they'll just undo it. Kind of takes away from it all. The I know I'm hitting my wrist off the table here, but I swear I'm hearing one be a thing behind me. So, eh. but anyway. So yeah, they could restart the Nuzlocke. Uh, well, trying to continue the Nuzlocke. See, there's the story thing, but that's a separate issue. And then you know they could have continued with what they had and just you know said, "Oh look, we lost. Let's just continue with what we have and see how well we, well we could have done if it wasn't for this slip up." Um. Or, you know, just play it as a normal thing, just no longer call it a Nuzlocke, even in the title, you know? I suppose that would spoil it for people coming in later on. They say, huh, the series is suddenly not a Nuzlocke, I guess they must have lost, which would take away from it, the, you know, the surprise of it. But, whatever. Um... You know, I, there's plenty of options and plenty that I haven't thought of, but they just handled the thing really poorly and then doubled down on that and pretended that the facts of the matter hadn't happened. And it just really bugged me. And I'm not saying anything bad about them. It just, they made a silly decision. And it just rubbed me the wrong way. So, I'm just really worried, like I said, of people taking me up the wrong way, that... I'm saying that they're horrible people, they should lose their account, or some insane shit like that. No, I think they make fantastic work. I'm just simply saying they did something really silly in this really small location. 
you know? And this very small, minor, insignificant thing, it just st stuck under my skin and has bugged me since they did it. Since I, I, like, I didn't notice that they'd done it. Until they made the video about it, you know? In response to people pointing it out. Because I was just had it on in the background. I wasn't noticing the health bars. Um, I assume now they must have just been on that health. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's just something that's bugged me and that's just festered. Like I was saying about the TV thing, when it originally happened, I was much more calm and positive about it. Then whenever I've talked about it afterwards, I, I, I was a bit more annoyed about it, but I was calm and positive. Then I was just really, like, really annoyed, and oh, I, I, then other annoyed things that would come up, and one thing and another, you know? And that's basically how it is with the Nuzlocke thing. It just bugged me, and then it festered, and then it's bugging me more. I just think it, it's just a silly decision they made, and that's it. That's as far, you know, that's as far as my critique is. It's nothing else. I, I'm sorry I'm emphasizing this so much and distracting from the game, but it's just... I, since I'm just complaining about... Like, it just... People are fans of series, you know? But, like, I hope I never get this. But, um... When you're a YouTuber, or any sort of celebrity, E or otherwise, um, internet or otherwise, you get fans, and these fans feel it's their duty to d defend your honor. So it's just since I'm criticizing Team Four Star with their three million fans, some of those three million might be might feel it's their on their duty to defend Team Four Star's honor, and I want to make sure it's clear to them. Maybe through the haze of fanboy them or fan girl them, that I'm not trying to smirch their honor. I'm not trying to do anything drastic. I'm just simply saying they kind of made a silly, sh sh silly move there. It took away from my enjoyment the series, the series that I was really enjoying, and I know I just I've issues letting go. So I just haven't I haven't really watched their stuff since. It didn't help that I kind of forgot they existed for a good while there, but yeah. I'm not saying anything beyond that, just to be clear. So, yeah. In summary, they made a silly thing, it hurt my enjoyment, and I haven't watched since. Not saying anything worse than that. So. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to be distracted for so long about that, but it just. I wanted to make damn, damn sure that everyone understood what the fuck I was getting at. That no one thought that, you know, I was besmirching their character. No one thought I was saying and drastic or and horrible. Just simply, they were doing a series. They made a silly decision with it. They had so many better options, and the decision they made took away from the enjoy, my, at least my enjoyment of the series. And since it rubbed me the wrong way so badly, I just haven't looked at the series since. Uh, and either content since. So those music videos were the first bit of them I've seen in quite a while. As far as I remember. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not saying they're terrible people or anything like that. I'm just simply saying they made a silly decision. I made silly decisions. You made silly decisions. They made a silly decision and, they, and like me, just happened to put it on YouTube. That's all. I'm not saying anything worse than that. Just simply, they they flubbed up a bit. That's all. That's all. Okay. Is everyone clear? If you still don't understand, please let me know in the comments. I'm sorry for distracting from the Legion uh, send off with this, but it just one thing led to another, and I was just figuring, ah, I could just say it and it'll be done. I didn't really think that it was going to end up being this really long thing. But the more I said it, the more worried and concerned I got that people weren't going to understand what the fuck I was trying to say. Because people have a tendency to do that. So yeah, I'm not saying I'm bad about them, just that they made a silly decision, and I wish they'd made a better one. Because their silly decision kind of hurt my enjoyment of the game. Of the, of the Let's Play.
Yeah, I think that makes sense. Like I said, if you still need explanations or... The fucker's gone. Uh, if you still need explanations, if you still need things to be expanded upon, ask me in the comments. But I think I've made myself damnably clear. I'm not saying condemning their character, besmirching them as people, questioning that what are they secretly dreadlords. I'm not saying I'm like that. I'm just simply saying they made a silly decision and it kind of hurt the tank. There's so many better options, and they went with lying, and they're lying about lying. That kind of shit just really rubs me the wrong way, and. I have difficulty letting go of things that rub me the wrong way, so it just kind of festers, and I get end up more annoyed than the thing, just, you know, the thing warrants. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Actually, yeah, that's a fucking fantastic explanation. I've probably already given it, but I like it. Uh, what were you able to find? What were you able to find? A crystalline heart pulsing with what appears to be immense arcane energy. Landris ran off again before you could return, Palani. He left a note and a pattern for you. The note reads, I'm sorry, Palani, but I'm afraid I may become a threat to the foul tailors of this shop. I'm off to find somewhere to try and control my urges. I'll fall into depravity. Do not honor training you. Sincerely, Landris. How sad. Landris couldn't have gone very far. I mean, we're floating a thousand feet over the sea. I heard some commotion across the way this morning near the alchemy shop. I pray that was Landris. Could you please go over there and make sure? This morning. Mate, it's been like two months since I last talked to you. At least said hi. Welcome. Down ran alchemy to st station. <laughs> For a moment, you can actually see. Uh, you know, uh, things pop up in the learned category. But here, it allows me to see all of the things I, uh, alchemists can make. I shouldn't be able to see this. Oh, that's a fucking glitch. P potion pronged power. Hmm. And at station uh, rank 2, it no longer requires a... The Adalran Alchemy Station. Rank 3, you can create more than 10 potions. Nice. And it's a, a single blood of Sagaris and ten crystal vials. And that's it? Wait, is this the literal blood of Sagaris? We're drinking demon uh, like demon titan? Oh, fantastic. Can I help you? Uh, hello, hello again, Lindsay. What's new with you? Oh, you know, not much. Just helped move an entire city from the frozen north to a haunted keep, then to a chain of demon-fested islands. On the day's work, I suppose. I'm semi-retired these days, so, so having... This guy. Uh, Dikas take over has been wonderful. He's a good sort, if perhaps a bit overly fond of his alchemy table. Sounds like an exciting life. I admit, I would never have guessed that my work is down, but we be still thrilling. But, uh, look who am I talking to. You seem more adventured than, far more adventured than I have. Uh, welcome to our shop. We have everything you need. If you need alchemy supplies. Sorry for going on about the other thing. I just wanted to make sure it was clear. I'm always worried that I'm not making sense or being coherent. And especially about that thing, like I was saying, but, you know, fans feeling they need to defend their, you know, hero's honor against critique. Uh, even valid ones. And not so valid ones. Um. I just felt like I, I needed to make sure what I was trying to say was clear, so, you know, minimize them trying to be asses in defending their hero's honor. So, yeah. That's that's all. It's just I just want to make it clear so everyone was on the same page as me. And before I'm going to move on, because I'm feeling like I need to get drawn back into it again. And I don't need to. I've made my point explicitly clear. I've said it fantastically. So. Uh, I heard you may have seen Landris. Yeah, I've seen him. That cursed elf friend of yours came in here and stole one of my f lay flame burners. Chased him away as far as the sewers before he slipped away. Uh, but if you find them, uh, make sure he returns a the burner. They're rare. They're very rare. Lay flame burner. 
After listening to Lindsay's account what happened in your shop, you feel you must stop Landers before it's any more trouble, causes any more trouble in Dalaran. Eating gold. Nice. Lindsay said the Landers escaped down into the sewers of Dalaran. Surely there must be a clue down there as to where its whereabouts. If we hasn't caused any more commotion amongst the citizens of Dalaran. What is it? I've tried information in order can. That's all you need to know. Valzoon. Are we sure we should have an Eridar down here? Sounds like someone kind of questionable. No guards. Yep, there's guards. Underbelly banquet. Huh. I'm going to see if I can't get to the, um... Um... Don't care enough to get that. How do I set up the PvP bounty, t like the PvP chest thing? I think you can tr you trigger that, and it's not a um, thing that's just here. There's an arena down below. There's a Dalvin sewers like arena. I think you can think that's what you can see down below. Um wait, who's is this Andres? Uh, it's Fritz. I've talked to you to find Andres. What the hell? Hey, how you doing? You're looking for the crazy elf. Yeah, I seen him. He was down here making a huge rocket, trying to munch on some sort of magic dust or something. Chased him off though, can have the legs of him hanging around the shop. Where did he run off to? Well, I chased him until he scrambled up with a pipe that leads to the top of the vault hold. You probably want to go a uh, look around up there, uh, there somewhere. Do I have to go into the vault hold? Shit. Andres has once again eluded you. Might be f he must be found soon before something happens to him. Fritz mentioned manhole near the vault hold. Perhaps that would be the best place to pick up Andres' trail. I thought I could trigger a tank. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I thought I heard bing bong in the background. Cats have a tendency to set off the, um, um, wash machine. Uh, to turn on the wash machine. But as long as the door is open, they can't. Put it, put on a wash around, so it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna get the big tin because that's gonna have the most. Pandaren Pandere chest. Or at least uh, introduced then. It's got Pandaren paw on it. You know the Ilden's glaives back in Warcraft 3 used to have. Um, Pandaren faces on them. There's a little Easter egg. Not actually canon kind of thing. But, um. Yeah. Uh, always worried cats are up to something. It's, then again, I'm fair chance I'm hearing things. You know, just my ears fucking with me. Some from you. Um, okay, so PvP. Did 20 killing blows in any battleground without dying? Ooh, that'd be hard. Anyway, let's go back to this. Oh, and if Andres came p here, he we're going to have to talk to Anadoc. I can get three more of him this week, but I can't talk to him yet. 
Um, I am currently tapped out. I'm on, on six. The trail ended at Lindsay's flame. At uh, Lindsay's flame burner. Uh, the trail ended at Lindsay. Lindsay's lay flame burner, lying in pieces upon the ground. There are too many guards around for this to have gone unnoticed. Perhaps they have some information about Landris. The guards here must have seen Landris come true here. The trail of lay dust isn't exactly hard to miss either. Perhaps one of the guards knows what became of him. Max the number of seals. Use the seals you have before bothering me for more. Uh, stay with the vault. Hold. Stay with the hold. I have to talk to you? You're the one furthest away from the dust. Weird. You're looking for that crazed elf. Sorry to say he's been locked up. We found him hunched over in the corner making all sorts of knives. When we approached, he tackled one of our guards. We also found him with an item that was reported stolen. We, we had no choice but to lock him up in the vault hold. Will Andrew's been locked up in vault hold? You must feel responsible for him and must discover the truth behind his actions. If you able to speak with him, you might find a way to have him waste and in, uh, waste from the hold and put him into your custody. Back into your custody. Go into vault hold and find out what happened to him. See you around. So it's a dungeon mission. Yes. Uh, salt on the vault hold. Switch the hold for a sec, pop a few things, and then uh, no, switch back. Only slight, slight, minor bonus there, but still, it's uh, every little bit helps. Good day to you. Apparently it has no judge for the um, Southern Vault Hold heroic, uh, you know, uh, estimation of time and whatnot. So that's annoying, but whatever. Okay, let's head back and do what we're doing. I love the uh, Dollar and Pet Tournament employees just called Greg. Tournament announcer and Greg. Guy in the Murloc suit. Let me just talk to you. Back over here. Yeah, we'll head back over here. Suppose I could go do the ones elsewhere, but it, this just has broken aisles, and Argus while is under the broken aisles uh, heading. I I just worry isn't considered towards the buff. It should be, but I know I'm just worried it isn't. So I'm just trying to get as much bonus out of it as I can within the, what I think is the parameters. Actually, I t You know, the stuff on Argus gives more, you know, item power. Then again, maybe it's due to the quests that are giving it. Could be. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Oh, and I could also come up here and get the looming over me thing. You know, go get the uh, light weave lo loom. We are 
are ready to begin the offensive in Soromar. Place beacons along the city's outskirts, and draw the Wither down upon the Magistrix's forces. She kind of reminds me of some uh, of uh, Squee, uh, Squeeze, um, uh, character Squeeper from his uh, Outer Scrolls uh, RP. Another YouTuber. Um, that mother. It, he's some like elf character. The dot, her face rem it just reminded me of him, him suddenly. Dangerous, is it? Oh, and it's still the, uh, the strength buff. 400. It's as good as one of the normal feasts. Well, uh, it's one of the, the weaker feasts. That is a good way to grind uh, because guys respawn really quickly. Um, no. But. How much did I get? Got 375 with Wardens and Valajar. How are these doing? Uh, I'll do one more with Valajar and I'll get to a. Uh, get a chest. Oh, I didn't read that. Try not to let it kill you in the process. Sniveling pig, big on. Uh, let's see if I can't find some else. Uh, I spit on you. Over celebrated, chance state reduced by seventy five percent. That's a reference to Lost Vikings. Um, shines upon you. Another Jarl now drinks with Odin. Between you and me, I never liked that Jarl. Because they're funny to me. Okay, insult. Kill. Christ, they went down easy. Twin poppies. Her uh, twins, Lynn and Flynn, gave her these flowers as she embarked on her latest adventure. Oh. That's that. Ooh, you can, like, AoE aggro. The Zerker. Oh, I that that's a different one. Okay, look, I I want the Bennett. So and so to answer. Uh, I'm gonna miss that. You're all. I'm. Uh, they had great feasts in their day. Okay, I can't actually aggro that guy. Like, I've insulted him multiple times, but the other people get defended in his place. Andrew the Freeman. Okay, he's just stuck in, a, in that. Wrong grave. 
So goes a good leader and a good friend. I look forward to battling with him in the Halls of Valor when my time comes. What a boat. Ah. I'm gonna have to wait for him to respawn because I'm now bloody curious. Okay, can't fight him. Christ, he's like 50 hawks in that one spot. Oh, he can aggro this guy. I don't think he couldn't. No, I'm dead knights. That is a funny concept. Guests of Odin, friendly to other Varko guests, unless provoked. Apparently, I never did that. That, I, that does make sense. I, 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 I did. Uh, maybe it's some cat change. I never did. I never did these bosses. Oh, huh, strange. Probably did. I did Pandaren Dungeon Hero. Oh, okay, I did Outland. Pend Actually, did Dungeon here for all the expansions? Did out on Dungeon Master? Alright. Got Perky Pug. I got that not long after it came out. I think. Uh, got it pretty quickly. Classic Dungeon Master. Just need to do that and got it. Out on Raider. Need to do those raids and I got that. Need to just kill Malagos and got Champion of Frozen Wastes. Need to um go and do some of these achievements. When I'm grinding up stuff, I might I may as well do that. I can get some titles then and some mounts. Gowacross? Hmm. Sounds cool. person was saying that this respawns really quickly and shit like this, but mm, they don't seem to respawn that quickly. I can only um, I can only talk to him during this event. Okay. I'm just gonna look it up, but I turn my phone off. Um, I think it's worth keeping it off. Is this gonna come back at all? Come on. Okay, I'm gonna kill some more D's while I'm waiting. Salt. I think she always. I think she might always drop those. Eric of the Lanhams. The light smites our foes. Okay, I'm cons. Concerning when they have, uh, when they're, they're they're waiting.
There it is, there it is, there it is. Wrong Greybeard. Uh, so goes, uh, I look forward to battling him in the Halls of Hour when my time comes. What about? It was once our tradition to ascend a yarl like this into the sea and set the boat ablaze. But since the mists claimed our shores, we dare not send them out lest he return as a cavalier. Well, that's something else. No, I like you. Uh, let's pay my respects. Now that is how you honor a fallen warrior. But I think you have enough revelry for one day. Yeah, I don't need to kill any more of your people. And these poppies don't stack. Surprising. Twin poppies. Or twins, li Lil and Flynn. Lyle and Flynn. File. I have no idea. They gave these flowers as she embarked on her latest adventure. The hell. Okay. Got a tank, got 3 DPS. Until the next battle. Uh, greetings, little hero. May your battle. Okay. Beautiful. Now we just need a healer, and we're good to go. So, who is the. who's soon to hit? You know what, let's go do some knife on ones. I'm just really not in the mood to do world quests right now. I just feel like I need to do other stuff, but at the same time I feel like I shouldn't do the other stuff. I'm just in a weird place right now. It's just like, you know, what should I, sh or shouldn't I do? It's just I feel like, oh, if I do one, if I'm doing one thing, I'm doing the wrong thing, or if I do the other thing, something's going to go wrong, or that kind of thing. Plus, right, well, right now, I suppose I can't go trying to queue for mythics and whatnot when to get into do this stuff. So, yeah, that's something. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't see more of the dragons. This probably feels like we didn't see enough of the different factions. Maybe the Hind Mountains are nicely tied up. Um, I really need to run the Emerald Nightmare on normal. I haven't actually ran that full raid before. I've only killed the, the last boss and maybe the that Druid boss, and that's it. We are ready to begin the offensive in Soramar. Place beacons along the city's outskirts. And draw the wither down upon the magistrate's forces. Yes. Is it really eight bosses? Huh. The fall of Dalaran begins here. These prisoners must stain the streets red with blood. And when they're done, the Legion will bring this city crashing to the ground. Okay, our tank is better geared than I am, and oh Christ, you're you're a fresh uh, well, 110. Uh, Shadow Council didn't see much of them in this expansion. They were pretty decimated by the end of uh, what? And actually, the healer is a bit more health than me too. This is all just sent back to a dungeon in uh, 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 North Rendal, but instead of uh, being the Legion, it's um, Blue Dragons. It's a Blue Dragon fight. Hit these levers, you will kill every all enemies in the room.
No, they say the destruction doll is inevitable. Doll did get destroyed once before. When Archimon entered uh, into Azeroth. He uh, really wrecked shit. You can see that in my Warcraft 3 playthrough. Aggro there. Not too bit much of a concern though. I wonder if that invasion forces thing is gonna reset for each like the, like we like you know for um before each boss is it gonna reset or what? I think so. You know, this would have worked much better if they just kept open, uh, open, open multiple portals at once. Wait, why do you still have your axe? <laughs> Wait, Andres? Oh. Just enjoying a relaxing vacation on the beach when a chilling sense of dread washed over me. Just what are you up to, I wonder? Wait! I recognize that voice. Oh, Buttons, what have you done? Hurry, get her back in the cell! Managed to trigger again, uh, and I didn't even hit her. Did it proc off Torment the Weak? Thanks a lot. You have no idea what you unleashed upon the world today. Oh, nice, but it's a guess. I also got rep with the wardens. Wait, do you get rep with the wardens for running this? Or was that a was that a world quest or something? I just managed to unintentionally do. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that uh, he can say, you know, open up, um, send his image into Dalaran, you know? I figured they wouldn't want people just doing that willy-nilly. Acolyte of Sarum. Uh, Spider Lady. I just can't remember which one. Maybe she's, uh, Sailorn? Oh, is she, she's the final boss of here. She's second last. Second last. Alright. You know, I've never done this as a mythic. Would be an interesting one to do. Can't remember if it counts as a. Like, what, uh, well, there's three tiers of mythics based on size. I imagine this would be the longer mythic. I know Halls of Hours is the, is the. There's only two of the epic sized mythics. Um, two in that category. I think, um. Uh, the Holes of Hour is one. This might be the other. Tell that the Destroyer. Tell that. That name sounds familiar. Uh, the longer these uh, portal guardians stay up, the more enemies will get to pour out of the portals if it functions on like it did back in uh, Norgrath. Increases damage taken by 100% for 6 seconds.
against this faceless one. With a mere whisper, it can drive a mortal mind to madness. Eternal darkness. Switch targets, but how about no? Okay. In the riding shadow of Nazoth, all light fades and dies. The will of Nazoth has made manifest. It cannot be contained. The blood of Nazoth runs through me. I cannot die. Uh, Nazoth is the old god in the next expansion. We get to see like the herald of Nazoth as a boss in, um, as the final boss in, or one of the bosses in the very first raid of Battle for Azeroth. Herald of Nazoth. It's a, uh, I think it, it, it could be the last enemy in the raid. It, it might not be. I honestly don't remember. But, uh, yeah, Herald of Nazoth. Uh, you can look it up yourselves if you're interested, or wait for me to get there. As I will eventually get there. Find out then, you can find out now, but it's, it's, you'll find out eventually. And yeah, the other thing on the right hand side does dissipate. So, yeah. Uh, so I think we'll end up fighting the Zoth in the next expansion. And as I was saying before, there's hints that there's another old god in um, in Azeroth that we haven't seen before. There was four established, but there's meant to be a fifth. It's like within the you know, well, lore books, the chronicles, or whatever. Those, it's there's a fifth one they hinted at. So, maybe we'll get to find out something about that. Because it's the house we mentioned in game, as far as I know. Yep, yeah, see, something came out. Did one of the Uevers get used? Eh. Oh, you did only release two. How does that name sounds familiar? Okay, um... Hmm. He's not actually on the bot boss list. Tal Dath the Destroyer. Um... I'm gonna turn my phone on, because I really want to look him up. He sounds familiar. Your power will be mine. Andres. If only you talked to us, we might have been able to help.
never did actually think of check hooking this up. Uh, tell that to destroy. And draw the wither down upon the magistrate's forces. Um, wait, what? Um, oh shit, I forgot something the other day. Um, D S T R O Y E R. Tell that the destroyer. Uh, he's an Eridar who's been in prison with a vault hold, only appearing during the non assault on, on vault hold. Version. He was confronted by a demon hunter went and on to become Slayer. Okay, so he's tied in with the Demon Hunter quest line. I must have just seen him. I swear I, I tell that was the name I've seen previously. T L D A T H. Maybe I'm thinking of Talgat, who's another demon. I just need to. Before I do anything else, like, uh, I had an appointment this week and I completely blanked it. So I just need to send um, a message in reference to it. Um, so I can go try and fix it in the morning. Um. There. There we go. Here, uh, one second. <laughs> 